So the first week of the summer anime season comes to a close, at least for me in terms of the stuff I'm watching. So you know what that means. It's time for the first episode of a new segment, Dr. J's Otaku Outbreak. Won't you join me, universe? Let's go. What's up, guys, and welcome to Love Stories Must See Comic and Nerd Culture Show. Welcome to the Comic Universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in Nerd Culture, and I should know. I printed it out myself. What's up, guys? Well, as promised in my What Will I Be Watching the Summer 2019 anime video that I put out a few days ago, I am starting up a brand new segment here on Comic Universe, because you know here on Comic Universe we like to represent all different aspects of nerd culture, and myself, C-Dubs, and ZPZ love to represent all different types of nerds out there, so I'm letting my otaku flag fly for this particular segment. I love anime, I've always loved anime, and... You know, I've been looking for a reason to actually start reviewing more anime to begin with. So I've done, you know, individual episode reviews over on my main channel, Mr. J's Reviews. But I figured I'll do something special for you lovely folks in the universe. I'm going to actually be doing this segment, which is more of like a lightning round version of my in-depth episode reviews that I do on my main channel. But these will be completely spoiler free. So you'll get a basic gist on the episode with no major spoilers. And I'll let you know at the end which episodes do, you, do I think were the best in certain aspects. So without further ado, with that explanation out of the way, let's go ahead and get to the first show. But first, you know, real quick. If you want to skip to a particular show, I will leave time codes in the description for each individual show. And the shows will be, of course, as I said in the What Will I Be Watching video, Fire Force, Dr. Stone, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, Magical Senpai. And uh, that's it for at least this week, because Vinland Saga and Don Machi don't start until, I believe... Vinland Saga starts next week, and Don Machi starts the week after, I believe. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the first show, shall we? Alright, we're going to do this in release order, so we're going to kick it off with some fun and a little magic. We're going to be talking about Magical Senpai Episode 1. So, Magical Senpai is a short anime, so it's only like a 15 minute episode as opposed to a 30 minute episode as per usual with most anime. So, you know, I tend to have like a different bar for shorts versus like regular episodes. You know, it's kind of just a get in, get out, have your fun type of thing. Like, I'm not expecting the deepest story and neither should you when it comes to Magical Senpai. It's a high school etchy comedy. So, it's pretty light on the plot, but it's got a lot of <clears throat> plot, if you know what I'm saying. YouTube won't really let me say what I want to say, but I think y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? Right. And plus, the main character, the titular magical senpai, is a cute magician girl waifu. Who doesn't like cute magician girl waifus? And the whole premise of this basically, like I said in the What Will I Be Watching video, is Magical Senpai, whose name we don't actually know, we just refer to her as Senpai. So Senpai is basically a magician in training, like an up and coming magician. She wants to learn to perform on stage and do tricks and stuff. However, she has crippling stage fright and her crippling stage fright leads her to screw up all her tricks and the episode is divided into several different vignettes. I believe it's like four different little vignettes that focus on like these quick short stories of her and you know her new friend, our main character, who is only referred to as Assistant Kun pretty much. So her and Assistant Kun 
try to help her accomplish her different tricks and stuff, but due to her stage fright, she fumbles it somehow and she ends up in, uh, let's just say, some pretty compromising situations. It leads to some good laughs, some good fan service. If you just need a quick little watch just to put a smile on your face and, you know, laugh at the expense of others messing themselves up, definitely check out Magical Senpai. I had a lot of fun. I will leave a card up here uh, linking to my review of Magical Senpai where I go into more detail, talk about all the individual tricks and whatnot if you want to hear a more in-depth review of the episode. But overall, I think it's really fun and I definitely think if you're into etchy comedies, I think you'll enjoy it. It's not like anything groundbreaking or like nuanced but it's fun and that's all i was really looking for so now let's move on to the next show are you trying to be healthier or maybe build up your summer body well then how heavy are the dumbbells you lift is just the anime for you that's right that is the next anime we'll be talking about since we're talking in release order and how heavy are the dumbbells you lift or dumbbell non kilo moteru is Another really fun comedy that I decided to watch this season and to answer the question of how heavy are the dumbbells I lift 10 pounds as you can see because you know I like to do low weight high rep just for more toning purposes than actually like building up muscle because you know I'm in a wheelchair I push a wheelchair around a lot so I uh, skip leg day but you know my upper body strength is all right. So, How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift focuses on Hibiki Sakura, a high school student who ends up being made fun of by one of her friends. She's like, you eat way too much. Aren't you uh, putting on a little pounds, getting a little chubby there? Which, side note, Hibiki is cute as hell and she is not chubby. She's thick. There's a difference and I'd wife it. Just saying. You know, Hibiki, you don't gotta listen to them. But she does want to get healthier, so she decides, alright, I'll join a gym. And that's where the hilarious antics and shenanigans ensue. Because she ends up making another friend, Akemi, who happens to also join the gym at the same time as her, and she goes to her school and is in her grade. However, Akemi is much more different than Hibiki, because Hibiki, you know, she's a normal girl, she loves to eat, and she's in good shape, but she doesn't really exercise all that much. So, you know, weight training and all the fitness stuff is definitely rough on her. But Akemi is a fitness junkie. She loves exercising. And also, she has a muscle fetish. That's right, yeah, she has a muscle fetish. So, there's that. And so, basically, we're following the journey of Hibiki as she tries her best to get her summer body together. And also, we get to watch her friend Akemi go gaga over all the muscles. And I gotta tell you guys, this is one of the funniest shows I've seen since Hina Matsuri because, like, the reaction faces of all the characters are priceless. How they use muscles in this anime is great. I'm not going to spoil any of the jokes that involve muscles, but it's pretty cool. It's hilarious. I love Sakura's expressions. Oh, not Sakura. Her name is Hibiki. Her last name is Sakura. Oh, they call her Sakura-san, so uh, Hibiki is like, why? Why am I doing all this? And so... The first episode mainly deals with kind of her starting to work out and then anyone who's just started getting into regular exercise knows that that first day afterwards you feel like death. And so it's kind of Hibiki taking her first steps into her fitness journey and the hilarity that ensues there. I'll go into more detail in the individual review of the episode that's on my channel which I will leave a card for in the description or card somewhere up here. I don't know. 
It's either going to be in the right-hand corner or on the left. I'm pretty sure it's usually the right-hand corner. But yeah, I'll leave a card for the individual episode review if you want to hear, like, the types of exercise they do and some of the actual jokes. But I definitely highly recommend it. It's hilarious, and Hibiki is a super relatable character. I really enjoyed it. The theme song is a bop. It has some weird imagery, but I really like the opening theme song. And like I said, it's super relatable. It's really funny. Very well animated. Love the reaction shots. Overall, such a great show. And I can't recommend it enough. Definitely go watch How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift. Also, at the end of each episode, they break down the actual workout routine. So, if any of you guys actually want to try your best to get in shape at home, and this anime kind of pumped you up, it gives you kind of a step-by-step -step tutorial, so that's cool. So definitely, go check out How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift, because I highly recommend it. Now let's move on to the next show, shall we? I'm pumped. All right, let's put our dumbbells down and put our science shorts on because we are about to talk about Dr. Stone, episode one. Get excited. There's a 10 million percent chance that I am hyped. Guys, you guys, I mentioned before that this was probably my most anticipated anime of the summer season. And I gotta say, dude, Dr. Stone Episode 1 did not disappoint. It pretty much is what I expected it to be. The, you know, setup of the world and showing of the world before the whole petrification event. And it just shows kind of the release of Senku and Taiju and them making their first steps towards civilization. And I loved how they explained all the science stuff. We got a really good, like gauge of Senku's personality and Taiju's personality and how their dynamic works, how well their dynamic works, and just kind of the different things they do to try and survive in this new stone world. Now I go into more detail about some of the stuff they do and how it compares as a manga adaptation. Personally as someone who has read the manga, I'm about 20 chapters in, so still pretty early on because I just started reading Dr. Stone maybe last week because I wanted to prep for the anime. And I really like it. It's really good. This is probably the one that I look forward to the most uh, throughout the week and I have a feeling it's going to be one of my favorites moving forward. But yeah, if you want a more in-depth review of Dr. Stone, I'm talking about more of the plot details and some of the character aspects, definitely check out the full review I did over on my main channel. The card will be up here somewhere, along with the other individual reviews as well. So definitely check out Dr. Stone if you are a science fan, if you like a cool mix of sci-fi and fantasy, or hell, if you're a gamer and you love the game Civilization, that is pretty much what Dr. Stone is, and I guarantee you, if you're into that, you'll love Dr. Stone. Definitely check it out. All right, now we're gonna move on to our final show. Let's go. Okay, so last up, but certainly not least, is definitely another hot new show in the shonen genre for summer 2019. Yes, that pun was bad, I acknowledge it. But we are here to talk about Fire Force Episode 1. I'm not going to try to pronounce uh, Shinra's last name, but it's basically Shinra Kusuwabe, I believe his name is. Kusukabe Enlist. And this episode is pretty self-explanatory. This is our introduction to the Fire Force and the world because our main character Shinra joins a unit of the Fire Force. He becomes a fire soldier. And like I said in the What Will I Be Watching video, Fire Force is basically an anime where humans end up being possessed by these demonic creatures and they spontaneously combust, causing these like crazy outrageous fires. And so a division of the fire department was created called the fire, the special fire brigade or the fire force. They're known as fire soldiers and they're here to fight these infernals, these fire demons and put out the fires, 
rescuing the people of Japan. And so our main character, Shinra, joins up with the Fire Force, or more particularly, Fire Force Company 8. And so we get to learn more about his unit, and we get a good portion of the episode to really understand his motivations, his dream, why he joined the Fire Force, and kind of what makes him tick. Now, I'm not going to go into detail about that because I go into detail more about that in my in-depth review of the episode, which again, I'll leave linked up in the card along with the other in-depth reviews I've done on my channel so you can hear more of my thoughts about him as a character. But just kind of a general thing, you know, he's not the most original concept. You know, I've seen it before, especially in Shonen, but just because I've seen it before doesn't make it a bad thing, you know? They do their own thing with Shinra's character. It's an interesting twist, you know? Again, nothing I haven't seen before, but it's executed very well. And something I did not know that I did not mention in this review that I did on my individual channel is that Fire Force is actually written by the same mangaka that did the Soul Eater series. And I know for some people, Soul Eater is great. And for others who just watched the anime and saw that really bad ending, Soul Eater has fond memories but leaves a bit of a bitter taste in your mouth. Totally understand that. I haven't read the Fire Force manga, but everyone who has that I've talked to says it's great. This anime is done by David Productions, aka the studio that handles all the different parts of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure anime. You know, they've covered every part of JoJo so far. Uh, well, not every part, but like parts one through five. And, you know, they bring that same quality of animation to Fire Force, at least I feel that. Now, I haven't seen any flaming rock stands, you know, no, no like, well, Red Hot Chili Peppers is already a JoJo stand, but like, no stands yet. But who knows? Maybe we'll get there. And, of course, our main character, being a shonen main character, has a unique ability, which I talked about more in the in-depth review. Really cool. I like the world. It really interests me. It's a pretty cool concept. Long story short, it's lit, fam. It's lit. Go check out Fire Force. Alright, guys, so we've pretty much reached the end here. To sum it all up real quick, I feel like the best first episode for week one of Dr. J's Otaku Outbreak would have to be Fire Force Episode 1. Like, I haven't read the source material, so I went in completely blind, and it really got me hooked into the world. I'm really interested in the characters, and the action was great. Very well animated. Next up on the list, I would have to go with Dr. Stone. I have read this manga. It was a really good setup episode, but you know, they didn't really dive into like the meat and potatoes just yet because they're saving that up for a little bit later. So, you know, not much happened, but it was a good setup episode and it was a really good adaptation of one of my favorite manga out right now. So, definitely ranking that high up there. Next up, I would go with How Heavy Are the Dumbbells You Lift because that episode was hilarious. I was dying of laughter and it's really relatable. Really enjoyed it and you know it motivated me to get pumped. You know? So I had a lot of fun with it. And then you know last but certainly not least is Magical Senpai. Now just because it's at the bottom of the list doesn't mean it's a bad show. I enjoyed it. It's quick. It's short. It has one gimmick and it does that gimmick really well doesn't mean it's bad. It's just, you know, you compare it to these other, you know, regular length episode shows, those are a little bit better. But that doesn't mean it's not good, because I enjoyed it a lot. Well, that pretty much wraps up Dr. J's Otaku Outbreak Week 1. Let me know, what did you guys think of the different episodes that I talked about in this first edition of Otaku Outbreak. What anime are you watching for the summer season? Let me know all those thoughts and feels in the comments down below. And like I said, I am doing full in-depth individual episode reviews for all these shows over on my main channel. So be sure to subscribe to the channel 
it should be up there. Obviously, you know, I left all the cards to the individual episode reviews up there as well. So definitely, if you haven't already and you like my content over here on the universe, you will definitely enjoy what I have to offer over on the main channel. So until next week, guys, I'll catch you guys later. Like I always say, once comp geek, always comp geek, and once no taku, always no taku. I'll see you next week, folks. Peace.